Welcome back. A great celebration of the amazing broadcasting career of our great mate, Danny Spud Frawley. Uh, now, we said just before the break, Gaz, that an incredibly loyal man, Spud. But if you ever decided to leave <laughs> the, the, the tent of Triple M football, yep. then he, he didn't take too kindly to it. So my new favourite show, Warrior, at the moment is Survivor. I watch it religiously. I've never missed a minute of it. And if I could have a wish, it would be him on that show. <laughs> It's There's no man better made than Survivor that's than true. Spud. He'd be, he'd be there going, I'm with you. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah, let's, vote, let's vote Brian and Jim out here. Uh, none it's of those completely blokes. natural for him. Oh, I know. <laughs> and then he'd forget and he'd go, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, with, you and, I'm with you and Brian, Jim. Yeah, no, let's get Warrior out. So in a little mini Survivor style, when one leaves, that's when, you, uh, that's when they turn. That's it. And he still had enormous respect, of course, for Bristol. So Bristol, uh, w- while he copped a bit, as you're about to hear, didn't cop the full brunt. But there were a couple of others. <laughs> One certainly attached to the medical fraternity who decided to leave. <laughs> Bristol, uh, sorry, Spud just raised him to the ground. <laughs> but here you'll hear on a 3RW during a call, Bristol's just dropped Spud in there. It, it landed in our lap and, and we didn't tell Spud anything about it and played it to him live on air and you'll hear the rest. Just we need to set the scene here. Yeah, please yeah. do, because I'm yeah. in the dark. Well, I'm confused well, too. Well, I am too, because of course I don't listen. I don't actually have AM on my no. radio. No. And you're but, under 55. Yeah, and I am, and I'm alive. Yeah. So I don't have it as part of my... I've never, never heard it, Gary. I don't understand it. But, no. but it was uh, pointed out to me that apparently the, one of the uh, older stations mm-hmm. had had a clip at our main man. I can't believe that. Well, I can't believe it either. And, and had I, a truce. Well, yeah. I thought we had a truce. Because it got a bit messy and someone got a bit upset. Well, got physical. Yeah, so we called it off. Well, anyway, uh, we we heard about it. Big crowd on Monday. And it, and it came through to us. It was sent through to us. And uh, we, well, I haven't heard it either. No, I haven't heard so it. So I think what we need to do is we need to play it to our man here, Spud, no. first, and then get his thoughts on it. Oh, no. Here we go. That's what you get on 3LW football. You'd have Spud uh, muttering and trying to spit a word out and wouldn't have still got it out at this stage. Instead, you've got Mick being concise and exactly what's happening. Oh, oh now yeah, that's right, eh? <laughs> fair is fair. That is right, is it? I'll that, tell you what, that's, that's the first time I've heard it. A couple of mates, Damo, not, well, not you, obviously. <laughs> 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 time if Bristle had a crack. Now, is this the same Bristle that I saw in the Green Guide? He said for a start he'd never go in the Green Guide yeah. with Jared Waitley and a few of the boys, saying he was disappointed at the fact we got personal last year. That we got personal with him. Is this the same Bristle who was close to tears at that lunch at oh, Flemington yeah. last year? Oh, he was too. Because he brought a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> <my friend. laughs> he got blown out of the water by little <laughs> linguini arm <laughs> JB here. Then claimed we got personal. Play it again, Luke. I just need to hear it again. Play it again. That's what you get on 3LW football. You'd have Spud uh, muttering and trying to spit a word out and wouldn't have still got it out at this stage. Instead, you've got Mick being concise and exactly what's happening. What? (laughs) That isn't personal, old buffalo head. What are you laughing at, Purple? You agree with him? Brian, listen to this. We invented getting personal on Triple M, my friend. You leave the tent, you cop it. We've been doing it for 15 bloody years. We get personal with ourselves first, then anyone else outside this tent. Take this box for, box for example. I've had enough of landing strip here. <laughs> you purple, old flat top V head, Sherman and Mr. Peabody whacking away on your Twitter, Facebook, get a life. <laughs> We're not, mates. <laughs> Start of the year, any increase in your package, Danny? Piss off, purple. <laughs> You're a journo. You don't earn as much as us. Get <laughs> I've also had a gut full of you, JB. <laughs> Reckon he's our leader. Turns up whenever he wants, struts around, thinks he's found the cure to world poverty. What a joke. 
You're only just going, mate. You're only <laughs> just going. I hope the CEOs listen to this bit of mafia. <laughs> Bloody complacency. <laughs> and as for you, Furball, <laughs> you be careful here. We go I have <laughs> simply had enough. We'll get leading teams in at some stage. <laughs> Don't know if I've read my <laughs> bloody article. <laughs> Guess what? New world record today, <laughs> Damo. We get in here at 11.45. 11.45.20. Have you read me oh, article? I did not. You did. Oh, I did. I had a look at it. You did. <laughs> I had a quick look. I'll tell you what. And he's put in here in one... I dug out an article I wrote on question 2002. And this is where it gets really... Opposition clubs need to employ decoy full, decoy full force to draw Fletcher away from the key attacking hotspot. Stevie Wonder can see that! <laughs> Seriously! Tell me something I don't know! <laughs> Triple M listeners, oh, no, we no. don't get we don't get it on with each other in here, oh, let alone other stations. Oh, no. So Brian Buffalo Head, I'll make it personal. If you want to head down this track, my friend, you'd better carry a big stick. Cause we pack heat over in Domo. You want an example? Just ask the doc. He's the bumbling mess since he's walked out of his box. He's still sucking his thumb in the corner like a big baby with puppy dog eyes every time he looks at me. And it was the truth, Doc. <laughs> Danny Frawley would still be getting his words out. At least the people who I work with like me. <laughs> Except these three. And I've had a couple. It's round three. I'm ready to explode. Where do I go from here? Don't you start big nose producer. You too, Harry. Sitting there chortling away. Like a wildebeest. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, how are you going to drive by? Oh, no. How did that turn around on us? That's one thing I don't miss about you, Gaz. The, right. the, the referencing to you. Have you read my article yet? <laughs> that's a fair point. Oh. I'll stop writing. Um, <laughs> no, that's one of his best. No, I, I magnificent. That was quite, uh, magnificent. Quite savage. <laughs> well, and that's what I, he did. Is He said, well, I, will, I need to start somewhere. So you gave him a start that time, Bristol, but it didn't matter what it was. Mm. He just needed to get underway. And as soon as he was underway, then he just turned on us. It was a momentum. Wasn't yeah, he? Was. <laughs> Once he got on a roll. We referenced the double agent thing before, Jim. Um, upon listening back to that, I reckon you might have been his double agent that day. That had a bit of you yeah. in that prose. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, we'd been told about it during the week, and and the grab had been sent to me, and I said that's got spoken. Yeah, but the but the, the the rant that you then went on to the other three of us, including yourself, yes. I, I think it had a little bit of you about it. Yeah. I, I, hope oh, it I, think... I hope it did. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was too well written for him to uh, come up with himself. So yeah, I reckon it might have been. I hope it did. <laughs>